Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another Brood War cast here. We've got Hero spawning in the bottom left, Tengu down in the bottom right, and a little spoiler alert for you guys here for ACS. If you haven't seen that yet, or if you don't want to be spoiled for the results of that recent ACS we saw on January 20th, then skip a little bit ahead, but Tengu managed to win that. 2-0 was kind of an interesting group though because Shao Shui made it through it's pretty big deal for a foreign player to make it in Chinese player there made it into the ACS and if you don't know what the ACS is it's like a sister tournament it's a kind of like the challenger series where players can play for some money but also for an opportunity to get seated deeper into the qualifiers of ASL so Tengu he managed to take that win he got himself some money and we may end up seeing him this season in ASL that could definitely be the case so Tengu down here a couple of days after his run in the ACS and his win there he met Hero on ladder and that's what we're going to be watching today just one game here between Tengu and Hero on Apocalypse. Should be a great game. And we've already got the wall in here from Tengu. We've got the spawning pool here from Hero. That is after the 12 hatch. I'm going to come in and spot this 12 hatch coming down. And you will get in here and see Hero boosting his highest drone here with that spawning pool placement does make that drone mine much much quicker placing the spawning pool just one hex over from the top of the hatchery and I guess is on the way here now I expect a 2.5 hatch out of hero and I'm not sure what to expect out of Tengu you know I've seen a few of his games we've casted a few here on the channel he has been very very high up on the ladder for a long time so I've been kind of looking at him and seeing his games on seawall.gg, but he hasn't really made a big name for himself just yet. I think that may end up changing though here with this next season of ASL, just based on his performance this season of AC, uh, ACS and his recent performance on the ladder, I think he's ready to make a splash in the pro scene could always do with another great Terran player and Tengu getting some good information here in the main base while throwing down his second barracks looks like he's playing a very standard game right now two racks pressure is what it's looking like we don't have an overlord over top of this area so it's a little bit dangerous uh, in the mind of hero right now you've got to think because he hasn't got the Overlord in that position, he doesn't know if these there, there are four Marines kind of walking across the map right now. If there were four Marines coming, I mean, he could be in a lot of trouble. Did I remove that? Okay, there's the uh, production panel. Must have gotten rid of that by accident. Sorry about that, guys. But he wasn't able to see how many uh, Marines were coming, so he made six Lings just to make sure. He's going to send them across the map now and see that now Tengu's just going to sit back at home and be nice and safe. What is this drone doing? Okay, I thought it was going to continue to go all the way around here. I wonder if that actually helps. The positioning here of the Spire actually helps the drone mine vertically here or not. Looks like it might do. Kind of funny to see the drone like almost underneath the building here. Big brain of the Spire here morphing in. Come out to the front. Lings will be pushed away. Looking for an opportunity to backstab right now. But there is a fire bat in the wall. There is still an opening here though as the second fire bat arrives. So the Lings are going to run into the main base. This is a little bit of a problem here for Tengu. Could, this is going to be the prime target right here. If he can kill the SCV building this engineering bay, it's going to be huge. So he goes after that SCV. 
Looks like he might not be able to get it. Okay, he is going to go for it once again. He's getting quite a few SCVs here. Back over on this side of the map. Looks like the Marines ran out ahead of their... Uh, of the medics there. And... Uh, weren't able to break this sunken colony. Quite a bit of chaos going on right now. But the links have been cleaned up during that fight. And the natural has been held here. However... Will we have turrets in time? Right here, just before six minutes. He's going to start to throw down the turrets. Plus one is on the way now. Tengu seems to have stabilized. No problem. Putting that pressure onto Hero. But also taking some pressure onto himself as well. Missile turrets coming up here in between the main and natural. Want to protect this barracks area. It's a little far away from the barracks, actually. Usually you want to see them right beside the barracks here, but... Tengu placing it a little bit closer towards his natural. Doesn't have too many turrets up just yet, and... The supply depot may end up falling. Tengu being a little slow to react here. He's actually waiting to gather all his forces together. Just gonna let that supply depot die. It's not a great look, but... Where's his next supply depot? He's going to build one up here at the front? No, he doesn't have one started. Oh my gosh, this is bad. He actually cannot produce right now. Until he starts to lose some units. Okay, Ling's coming into the natural. They do manage to get one turret. And that could open up a position for a hero to come in. And deal some real damage here. Killing off a few SCVs here and there. Tengu going to react with his marines. Trying to push these back. Mutas are going to head back in towards the main now. Slowing down that factory is very, very annoying. No turret up yet, just yet. He's not actually producing that turret. Okay, there's the SCV actually making the turret there. He may be able to pick off this factory. Factory is getting very low. Just 300 HP on that. 200, 250. Dropping that lower and lower here. Hero going to force the cancel. There's that cancel. That's going to slow down Tengu's tech by quite a lot. He's left the Marines here in the natural. Not really chasing these mutas around too much. And now the muta number is getting really big. Got 11 mutas plus 3 more. And some lings here to fight. The 2.5 hatch is in full effect right now. Hero does not have his upgrade finished. He actually has didn't build an upgrade for his mutas. Just fully focusing on muta production and uh, ling production here. Comes in, picks off a couple of muta. Or medic, excuse me. But loses a few mutas of his own. But a few turrets have been built now. Tengu taking this more and more seriously. You can see he's got three turrets here in the main. Probably could use some more, actually. And needs to pull some SCVs to make sure that his bunker doesn't get busted here. We haven't heard a scan for quite some time, but coming in now to kill off some of these turrets. Oh, does get the repair, but it's not quick, quick enough. And going to fly through once again. Stop the factory. Oh my god, if he kills this factory again, it's going to be insane. That is so much damage. He has to cancel. Oh, the factory going down is so brutal. But look at this. Muta's getting kind of caught here. They are going to fight. And so many of them end up going down. We're down to just six here. That was a bit of a mistake by Hero. Does he have something coming up back at home? He does not have a third base on the way. And you can see his drone count is very low. Finally adding on some drones going up. Adding on six more. He should be sending out a drone for a third base here shortly. The pressure has been brutal here by Hero. But his tech is very late. He's slowed down the tech of the Terran. His tech, though, is very late as well. We've only got three barracks here. Thank you. Starting to push out now, but it might be a mistake. A lot of mutas over on this side. Trying to harass the main, but there's four turrets here. That should be enough to buy that time for the Marines to get back and protect. And instead, we're going to bring everything together here. Hero, can he engulf this army? I think Tengu really needs to be mindful here of his position. And I think he's going to end up losing everything right now. So many Lings coming forward. All of the Marines are going to go down. That was the main force of Tengu. And now he is completely placed on the back foot. We should see Hydra's Den and Queen's Nest immediately after that. Actually, he's already had it on the way for a little while. The Hive has now started. And 
uh, Lurker upgrade is coming here. So Hero predicting that he was going to be able to take out that that uh, group of Marine Medic and preemptively making that tech switch. And now he's just going to town on these SCVs. This is brutal for Tengu. He's not really able to stabilize here, just trying to keep his SCVs alive the best that he can, but he is way on the back foot, keeping his Marines here to protect his starports, but it's not protecting his SCVs at all. 33 SCVs now to 40 uh, drones here from Hero. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I think Hero far and away ahead in this game now. He will not be stopped. With those lurkers coming in here pretty soon. And the defiler tech coming forward. It's going to be up to Tengu. I think to try and take a third base. Because there's no way he's going to just come across the map and kill. I don't think right now. We've got two science vessels coming. So he's going for that long term play. He's not going to try and you know pop out a couple of Valkyrie. And just go across the map as quickly as he can. Instead he's going to get into his science vessel. And look for an opportunity to break... Uh, hero a little bit later, but I don't think that opportunity is going to present itself because we're going straight up into Adrenal Glands. We're going to have, uh, I think, Mass Hydra here as well. That would be my assumption. I think that would be the best is to go for Hydralis Defiler right now, but he's going into Adrenal, which kind of throws me off a little bit. If we had double upgrades, if we had, like, uh, uh, attack and... Um, you know, the, the attack upgrade here for subterranean spines and the uh, carapace upgrade. Then I would assume that we're going fully into Hydra Defiler. But with the Adrenal coming, okay, five more Hydras. That might just be for Lurkers, though. And we don't have range or speed on the way here. So it is just going to be for Lurkers. And that's a little bit worrying. Is he going to go straight into Ultra here? I don't. Ha we don't have a fourth base. We're still a ways away from that. Few Marines over here are going to get completely mopped up and he may lose this SCV. Luckily, he didn't start ACC there because that might have gotten picked off immediately. At least forced to cancel. Counter here. Bunker is in good position though with the Marines jumping inside, stimming up, getting in that bunker. He will be able to hold. Two vessels out right now. The first few irradiates are going to be super important here. We'll see what he decides to do with them. He could come up on the side here, irradiate, and then push forward. And that looks to be what he's going to do. I'm going to come up on the side. And these uh, forces here. Oh, all the mutas got uh, mopped up there. Hero just kind of letting them go in. He's a little bit focused on getting his defiler out here. We don't have consume yet. And actually, the defiler is going to die before consume is done. Very, very nice kill there for Tangu. But he's going to lose a bunch of his army on the retreat path just a few marines going down and a couple of medics as well these marines gonna fall here how are we doing on upgrades one one here for tengu not able to click that right now we've got one armor and just that just finished up here for heroes so this is kind of a power spike right now the uh, armor upgrades are equivalent at the moment to the attack upgrades for our Terran player. Going to jump into this bunker. But I think this third base will be forfeit. There we go. Going to lose one of these science vessels. He does get the irradiate down. And he's coming across the map for the counter. That's a lot more lurkers. Just lurker ling here from Hero. Is this really what we're doing now? Kind of crazy actually to see this many lurkers being built. He's just spamming them out and going across the map right now. And we don't have tank or anything. He really needs to get a, an irradiate down on this defiler. Very important that he does so. Losing all of his marines out on the map. The lings are just tearing them apart. One tank does come out. Lurkers will push forward. We've got quite a few vessels here. Plus the tank with siege mode. I don't think you can break and actually end the game here as hero. But you may be able to do some serious damage. Oh, he never irradiated that. That's so bad. That is so bad. This actually might be the kill. This might be the kill right here. Okay, this Lurker really needs to get under the Dark Swarm. That's a little bit funny. It's not under there. Okay, now it's actually under there. That is hilarious. 
Everything gonna die here. The natural has been torn to pieces. That's way too many lurkers. A lot of them have been irradiated, but most of them are going to survive. One more tank comes out. He's gonna be pushed back even farther. Bunch of Scourge coming through, killing off two of these vessels. And Tengu, man, if only he had, you know, he had a couple of vessels over here and he didn't irradiate. I checked to make sure he had the energy, but he didn't irradiate the uh, Defiler that was coming across the map and GG is called. Jeez, what happened there with that vessel? He absolutely should have had the irradiate ready. Where was that? I just want to take another look here. So look, the everything's getting uh everything's getting destroyed here. All of his units are going down. He's got 80. He's got enough irradi energy for irradiant on both of these. And look, he should see this. Absolutely, he should be seeing this. Look at look at that. Look at that right there. You can see it, Tengu. I know you can. That's the defiler that ended the game right here. If he managed to hold on a bit a bit longer, you know, his uh his army is going to do better later game. You know, we don't have uh, the upgrades for the Hydras. We don't have Plague yet. If you could just hold on and keep building tanks, you can push out eventually. There's no fourth base. Just just irradiate this Defiler. You've got enough energy on both of these. One Lurker, one Defiler. And where's the next Defiler for, from Hero? Where is it? Where's the next Defiler? Tell me where it is. Yeah, it's not here. We don't have one. We, we literally don't have one. So this can't make it all the way to the natural from here. One irradiate stops that. And we have to sit here and wait for another defiler to come across the map. And by that time, you should have, you know, two, three tanks at least. A lot more uh, marines popping out as well. A couple more vessels. And he should be able to, you know, break, break forward and, you know, move up onto the high ground. Claim that area. You know, come up here, clear out this stuff. The Lurkers can't really fight with no Dark Swarm against Tank Marine. It's just... Running up on top of that is just so hard. And the tanks can can uh, outrange the Lurkers even without Siege Mode. So, this is a bit of an error. A bit of a mistake here. I think Tengu was playing a great game. This is the big mistake, though, I think. That occurred here in this game. That really set him back. Or actually lost him this game, actually. Um, bit unfortunate. I hope that we see Tengu make his way into the ASL. Or at least the ASL qualifier. He's definitely going to be in the ASL qualifier. So hopefully he can give us a good show there. Guys, this has been your Daily Dose of Brood War. And I'll see you tomorrow.